In version 1.2 of Honkai Star Rail, we're going to be seeing a shift in the meta for Nihility characters. So in today's video, I want to talk about how relevant Pella is going to end up being in the meta. So if you do like this kind of content for Honkai Star Rail and want to see more, definitely be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. So in 1.2 with the release of uh, Kafka and Luca. Nihility is probably going to be shifting more towards a, a DOT or damage over time meta since Kafka and Luca's main thing is applying damage over time. Then we also have Sampo who was uh, out when the game first came out but was the only DOT character in the game so he's going to get very much buffed by uh, Kafka and Luca. And then they'll also be benefited you know, pretty well I think by Silverwolf with all her different like debuffs and everything that she can do as well as the uh the weakness changing that she does so yeah nihility is definitely entering a new sort of saga i want to say which you know getting rid of those characters for nihility it only leaves well and pella and i think well is going to have a good niche for a long time because he focuses on Basically, more of what the imaginary weakness break does, but just uh, just in general throughout the entire battle with reducing the enemy's speed and delaying their actions with his ultimate and his skill. So then, after Welt, that leaves Pella. So Pella is probably the most basic Nihility character of the ones that are in the game as of 1.2. And the reason for this is because while some of them are like, mainly focus on DOT or have like a few different debuffs they can do or like special kind of debuffs like Welt does. Pella's kit is a lot more basic than that. Pella's kit mainly revolves around her decreasing the enemy's defense and then using her skill to remove a buff on an enemy. Now the reason that this, you know, I'm saying that, oh, we gotta talk about how relevant she might be is just because Compared to the like absolute synergy that you know Kafka, Lu Luca, and Sampo are gonna have together, it's kind of harder to place a character like Pella onto teams when you can, when you really think about units that have that kind of synergy together. But I do think that Pella is, while she's, I don't think she's going to be like one of the most relevant characters in the game. I do think she'll have a very nice relevance for two main reasons. The first reason for this is because just her uh, defense lowering and removing of uh, buffs from enemies is still going to be very useful regardless of what kind of team you run her on. I think it's definitely going to be really important to have that, especially for you know those Memory of Chaos fights. If you're fighting enemies that put buffs on themselves, you can deal with that. And then also lowering defense will allow for your DPS character if you're running a more traditional team and not like a dot team in 1.2 you're going to be able to do some more damage to them because you're lowering their defense. So that's really that's just really going to be good for a lot of players. And then secondly, she is a she is still like a pretty good uh ice option cuz right now our ice options in the game are uh Jepard and Yang Ching um, are two five stars. I'm not going to really focus on them cuz they're, you know, they're limited five stars. Not every player is going to have them. Then we have Herda who's not that great, and then March 7th, who provides more of a defensive role rather than, um, uh, rather than you know, debuffing like Pella. So Pella does have her own niche in the ice element, which is going to be super helpful for players because if players don't have Yang Jing or they don't have Japard and they don't want to use March 7th, whether it's because they need the ice character on a second Memory of Chaos team or just because they don't feel like using March 7th because they have another defensive character already, like the Fire Trailblazer, for example. And Pella could definitely be a very strong candidate for them just because she's going to be able to fill that role. Her damage isn't actually too bad and pairing her with a good DPS, like whether it be like a Path of the Hunt, um, an Erudition Path, or even a Destruction Path as well with some of the characters, especially like if you're planning on pulling for Blade. I do think that Blade can work very well with her because you can lower enemies' defense with Pella, and then Blade can go ahead and use his skill to boost his damage, and then just start doing a lot of damage from there. And that'll be boosted with the, um, yeah, with the defense being lowered. 
And then also just removing buffs is going to give you some more survivability. So overall, I think that Pella is going to still be relevant when it comes to normal teams, like not uh, not dot related teams. I, I don't think she's going to have as much of a place on dot teams because you're going to likely run some combination of Kafka, Luka, Sampo, and Silverwolf along with a healer at the end. So, and those are teams I definitely plan to test because I am going to be summoning for Kafka. But I definitely do still see myself using Pella because right now with the ice characters in the game, I am pretty much only using Pella right now. I, I think I'll eventually build March, but just with the way my account has been going, I am. I really only have Pella built for ice, so I'll still definitely be using her. I do think she's still going to be a great option going forward. She's just not going to have, I think, as much synergy with those dot teams as characters like Luka and Sampo. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of Pella and uh, how you think she's going to do moving forward. But with that, I'm going to end off the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, sub to the channel, all that fun stuff, and I will see you all next time.